Crohn's disease is a long-term condition that causes inflammation of the lining of the digestive system. Crohn's disease causes tissue destruction and inflammation anywhere within the gastrointestinal tract, but the most common site for the disease is the last part of the small intestine known as the ileum. The small intestine has three sections, the duodenum, jejunum, and the ileum. The small intestine is where food is digested and absorbed in the bloodstream, and the structure of the gut then changes to become the large intestine known as the colon, sometimes the large bowel. The colon absorbs water and contains food that has not been digested, such as fiber. The inflammation in Crohn's disease is due to a foreign pathogen in the gastrointestinal tract, such as the mycobacterium paratuberculosis, listeria, and pseudomonas species. As compared to ulcerative crises, where the inflammation is due to an autoimmune disorder. Once the antigens have been presented to the body, the T helper cells produce cytokines such as the tumor necrosis factor 1 and interferon gamma. These cytokines attract inflammatory cells such as macrophages, which continue the production of inflammatory substances. After activation by antigen presentation, and restrained responses of type 1 helper cells predominate as a consequence of defective regulation. T helper 1 cytokines and interleukin 2 and tumor necrosis factor 1 simulate inflammatory responses. The inflammatory cells recruited by T cytokines release non specific inflammatory substances, including arachnonic acid metabolites, proteases, free radicals, and platelet activating factor, which result in direct injury to the intestine. Microscopically, the initial lesion starts as a focal inflammatory filter down the crypts, followed by ulceration of the superficial mucosa. Later, the inflammatory cells invade the deep mucosa layers, forming non cystic granulomas. These granulomas extend across the intestinal wall to the mesenteries and lymph nodes. Neutrophil infiltration to the crypts form cryptic abscesses, leading to detraction of the crypt and atrophy of the colon. Transmural inflammation results in thickening of bile narrowing of the lumen and causing obstruction and fistulization. The causes for Crohn disease include a familial genetic inheritance that the frame shift mutation of the NOT2 gene, environmental factors such as smoking, microbial factors, and high fat diet together with vascular factors. The signs and symptoms of Crohn disease are characteristically present as abdominal pain on the right lower quadrant and diarrhea. Other signs include rectal bleeding, Malabsorption, fever, weight loss and anorexia, nausea and vomiting, fatigability, bone loss, and growth failure in children. In a diagnosis, you conduct an examination whereby the vital signs will be normal but the tachycardia may be present in anemic patients. Gastrointestinal is normal but sometimes there can be acute abdomen and hematogenesis. Genital urinary will show skin tags, fistulas, and alteration of the perianal area. Postpartritis, jaundice, erythema, nodosum, hypercoagulable state. The laboratory studies include the complete blood count, liver function test, inflammatory markers, serologic tests, and stool study. And the imaging will include a brain, abdominal radiograph, CT scan, barium contract study, and CT enterography and endoscopy, colonoscopy, and iliocolonoscopy. Treatment of Crohn's disease includes administration of 5 amino salicylic acid derivative, corticosteroids such as prednisone, immunosuppressive agents, monoclonal antibodies, and antibiotics such as ciprofloxacin. Antidiarrhea agents such as loperamide can also be used. Surgery does not cure Crohn's disease, but it can be required to resect the affected bowel ileocolonostomy and proximal loop ileostomy together with a fiber surgery and a stricture plastic.